fabrication and continuous water evaporation. And lastly, this is part for some fabrication of uh, photothermal material when the solar evaporator with high energy efficiency and water evaporation capabilities for seawater desalination. So if we can compare here, uh, the, the result from this study uh, is still, uh, I mean like it's among the top uh, efficient photo material as, the pre uh, as compared to the previous literature. And as I mentioned earlier, we also need to look at the green material for easy disposal of the evaporator. So currently, we are developing SCOBY membrane for clean water production, where SCOBY stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast that being used to produce the uh, kombucha drink, the prebiotic drink that very healthy that being used by the ancient uh, China long time ago. So we we employ this kubi membrane uh, as the evaporator, and based on our study, uh, the clean kubi itself can produce or can become or potentially can be developed as evaporator. We, even without the photothermal material incorporated on the scooby itself, it also produce a uh, good evaporation rate so that uh, prior the modification, uh, prior the modification after this, hopefully it can also become uh, the, the, the performance also can be comparable with the current uh, 2D materials. So as a conclusion, an efficient solar evaporator requires black photothermal material, high porosity, high watertability, 2D material enable efficient solar driven clean water production that combining high efficiency and sustainability. And lastly, is future scale up and deployment that we should put into consideration. With that, thank you so much.